hello friends so today we will discuss about how to create depth of field using z depth render element so let's start first of all we have to render multiple and required render elements using 3ds max and save it in a folder so what now I, what so now what i will do is just copy this and insert this into a photoshop i have to insert these into in a stack so i will go file scripts load file into stack <coughs> now i will paste that address in this and i will need all these these are here and then press ok these are getting loaded here actually we do, do not need alpha and we do not need these one right now just we need only z depth press ctrl a for select all and ctrl c for copy this z depth layer and finally i will on this one i will go to layer and layer mask and I will <coughs> just reveal all and I will go to here in channels and paste this press with alt and press this mask and paste here ok delete this one delete layer press ctrl D for deselect we will invert this one we will select this and control i for invert i will make a copy of this layer control j and delete this layer mask and i will put this layer mask this layer beneath this <coughs> layer now i will select this and move to filter blur and lens lens blur it, will, it is showing just like this so this is the faster this is the type of the blur faster and more accurate i will select the layer mask now after selecting layer mask you will see that the uh, area close to my with me is very clear and the bike is slightly blurred if i will increase the focal distance to the middle it will getting sharper it will be getting sharper yes if i get this it will, it, it will get sharper and the area near me is getting blur so here you, we can adjust the depth of field without rendering the scene again and again if i suppose i will put this here and i now i invert this so this will become sharper bike will become blur just vice versa now we will discuss about some more this is the iris physics related to physics i don't know very much about this but these are the pixel just triangle pixel square pixels and hexagons etc so now I am going to increase the radius of this if you if I am increasing the blur radius it will getting the more blurriness in this area suppose I want to focus on this area so I need to get some close now this area is getting focused and this area is getting focused so in this way we can focus anywhere in the scene without rendering again and again and this will save more time these are the blade curvature just the cam just uh, shutter blades just like and for sharper blades and all this 
this uh, and the rotation rotate the these pixels if i have selected the triangular so this is rotating triangular pixel these are having very minor effect in brightness we can increase the blur brightness see the bike here it will get more bright and blur here we can change the threshold also at different threshold it will get something different look see this will come with more experience and here finally this is the noise if i am increasing the noise just like it the blur will get noisy and it depends on the value of noise actually in the scene we have no use and here is the distribution of what type of blur we want uniform or gaussian blur and monochromatic so hope you will understand this and this is my first video with audio and sorry for my poor english okay thank you